Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fader, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 2nd and the 9th of February 2019. This is where I talk about celestial transit, astrological aspects in the sky that affect all of us, all zodiac signs. I'm going to change a bit my weekly message, cut it a bit shorter and make it applicable for people worldwide. I'm not going to go so much into the daily transits and just talk about transits that affect us a little longer for a couple of days that have a more, more of an impact over us so it could be clearer and shorter and more precise for all of you. So what kind of week are we entering? We're still having a lot of intense energies in the skies very challenging energies with that square between Mars and Pluto that can cause this bubbly feeling inside that something is simmering. I don't know what it is exactly, but I know I have to push it. I have to react. I have to take my own uh, fate, my fate into my own hands. And sometimes my reaction could be too extreme. Sometimes it could be even too harsh or cruel towards other people in my life. I could be acting out of built up stress that is now evaporating, that is now ventilating into the room. So watch out for that intense energy because on the one hand it can move us forward and this is a time of moving forward. We're having this new moon in the fourth, it's a new moon in the 15th degree of Aquarius. Every new moon is a new beginning, even more so when Mercury is conjunct that new moon in Aquarius. It is a time that requires change, that requires upgrade, that requires us to be more flexible regarding who we are and what we do in our life and allow ourselves to be different people and do different things and reinvent ourselves. Navigate our life in a better, more innovative, efficient way forward, something we've never done before. There's always this newness with this Uranian Aquarian energy all around. Um, but as I said, this is a st still a time of intensivity and after the new moon, after the fourth, from the fifth onwards, from the fifth onwards, things quieten down and really get much more relaxed and we're going to talk about it as well. So other than that, we have Venus, the planet of value and self-value and relationships and satisfaction, trining the great reformator and rebellious Uranus. When we have this trine in the sky, we can meet new people, we can meet new friends, we can meet new groups of people, but we can also provide ourselves with an upgrade in our existing relationships. We can find new ways to recalibrate our relationships and to upgrade them and to walk forward in a way that is flexible and has never been done before. This is a time that we can look at everything that we have accomplished and see the, 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 the gap between what we dreamt of and what we really are. This is not a time to be harsh with yourself. This is not a time to be intolerant with yourself. This is a time to actually rejoice that A, you can see that gap that was created. You have the opportunity to recalibrate your life and B, that, there, that you know, that, you know, there's, there's people that either pass through their lives without even knowing that this uh, uh, transgression has occurred and there are other people who are going through this life knowing that this transgression has occurred but never moving an, an, a finger to actually correct it. So if you do have these two um, energies playing in your life right now, rejoice about it because this is a time for you to uh, go forward in your life. As I said, it's still a lot of conflictual and, and, and uh, sometimes a bit violent energy. Mars is um, conjuncting Aries this week. It's a time that we could be very much undiplomatic and put the uncomfortable truth forcefully in front of people. We need to adapt a more diplomatic manner over this time. Communications and just expanding our minds and expanding our knowledge and wisdom is, is very much heightened over the next few days and over this next lunar cycle. Remember that every uh, new moon is a time that we are like a sponge, that all the energies that go through us throughout the day carry on and get imprinted in the new lunar cycle of 28 and a half days. 
So if I'll be angry at the morning of the new moon, that energy would stay with me for the next few days of the month. If wonderful, amazing happens, would, uh, amazing things would happen throughout this new moon, this month would carry that energy. So watch it on the third, the fourth, the fifth. Watch that sponge that you are. Mercury is going to sextile Jupiter. There's a lot of information that can come in, a lot of knowledge that can come in, a lot of expansion that can come in, and, and forward movement together with others who we love in our lives. Um, that same Venus is going to go ingress into the sign of Capricorn for the next couple of weeks over that new moon. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Ah. <coughs> Ah, wow, yeah. And when Venus is in Capricorn, we seem to be more hard-headed about the way we bring in income, create value in our relationships in our lives, and also our self-value. Our criticism can be heightened, our judgmental side can be heightened, and we could pay more attention to things that we see as respectable, long-term, and, and stable, and not these uh, tenderly, uh, flimsy, fast-moving relationships that we're not even sure that would go on. Um, but, of course, Saturn deals with karma as well. And we could be more post-traumatic regarding um, how we draw in money or how we draw in love in our lives over this time. As I said, in the fifth already, things quiet down. There's a lot of beautiful energy in the sky that is very... Um, beneficial for communication, for forward movement, a lot of energy in the sky as well. The sixth is also a very uh, um, flexible day, a day that we can enjoy ourselves a lot, allow ourselves to taste new food and drink, to do new things, to meet new people. That's a good time to do it. The seventh Thursday um, it is a good day for work in general. And also Friday is a good day for taking things forward with a lot of energy. The mental energy is very much heightened as Mercury is going to sextile uh, 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 Mars exactly on Friday. And there is a sextile between the Sun to Jupiter as well. So really a time for expansion. Really a time to allow yourself to put that muscle into what you are doing and not do it too aggressively. And why am I saying that? I'm saying that because next week, just after that, we're heading into a conjunction between Uranus and Mars, and Sun is a conjunct a Black Moon Lilith. So two things can happen. Hey, we could be too forceful, go ahead too fast, be too impulsive, not think about the long-term effects. That's one thing. And B, do things out of that impulsiveness that are not really beneficial for us on the long term, that are not really healthy for us, that do not come from a healthy, beneficial side within us, that sometimes are self-destructive or, or that we are acting out from our own hurts and complexes. So watch that over that weekend, over this weekend already. Don't be too impulsive or too forceful. Other than that, do take your life forward. Do allow yourselves to boldly go where you've never gone before. This is the time of Aquarius. This is the time to walk forward. This is the time to change. This is the time for an upgrade. It may be a beautiful one for you. I want to thank you for listening. And of course, for private consultations, private lessons or courses, be, you are more than welcome to contact me over the phone or via my email. And thank you for sharing, commenting and exposing these videos to more people. May you live long and prosper. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.